Hey guys, Bobber18 here, and welcome back to some more Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. In the last part, we started on Hooktail Castle, and this part we will be continuing on with Hooktail Castle. This is actually the way you want to go, not up, surprisingly. Because if we go up, we can't really do anything, as you'll see once we go up there. I'm not going to worry about that. Dry Bones, or Dull Bones is his official name, actually. That badge. We can't get it right now, but we will need to get it later. And you just want to use coops on that block right there to open this gate. But we're trapped now. Oh my gosh, we must be getting a new power. I'll leave that black box for later because I don't want to talk to it because its dialogue is kind of boring. Even though you have to listen to it anyway. But let's just do this first. Oh my gosh, we got a black key. I wonder what it's for. If you, as if you couldn't tell. Uh, Mario, look at that. Oh jeez. How, how did... What, I don't get traps like this. Are, is the box just like triggered to set off or something? I don't I don't know. I don't even know. Well, you have plenty of time. I mean, look at I barely wasted any time. And the path you want to take is just around the top there and then out the door here. Uh, yeah, it's kind of easy. Even though Coops will still freak out. See, watch. They were too close. No, we still have like 30 seconds left. Okay, let's get the key into the box. What the heck? Hey, guess it's been a long time since anyone came here. A real long time. Yeah, I bet so. I mean, this castle seems deserted or something besides Hooktail. Yeah, I can hear you. Or not. Yeah, pretty much anyone with ears. I mean, ears are usually listen. You ears are usually used to listen to people. So, find the key. Okay, well we already found the key. What do you mean? Yeah, yeah. Aren't you one of those curse boxes again? Real slime ball. Well, then you must be Mr. Slime Ball, huh? Are you Mr. Slimeball, Mr. Slimeball? Are you married to Mrs. Slimeball? And have a son named Slimeball Jr.? Okay, I'm done with that. That was kind of annoying. It probably was. Wee hee hee, fools. Oh, new see, I knew we shouldn't have let it out. Even though this is probably just going to help us even more. And that kind of had to load there. It took longer. Why well, only the most idiotic pudding, pudding brain dolt would fall for a scheme like that? How dare you call me pudding brain? Well, I can leave it anytime I want. I just have to backtrack a little. I mean, I know that's pretty painful, but... Oh, paper lightning again, I guess. I don't know. Serves me right. What did I even do to you? If anything, you should not be cursing me and helping me. Even though this does help you, so I guess. Because I freed you from your box. Yeah, we can turn sideways into paper. Why Mario couldn't just do that before is beyond me. We just hold R to do it. How embarrassing. Scanwitch. Yes, I understand. It's terrible. Dumbbells? No, you're the dumbbell. Well, now we know how to get out. This is our second of paper our second paper abilities. Remember I said we would be getting more? This is actually the badge that the letter was talking about, remember? Change the sound effects of Mario's uh Mario's attacks. It costs zero BP to wear. So look at this. Does that sound familiar? Like something that starts with Kerr and ends with Ikit? Well, I'll fight, I'll fight the Strybones and I'll be right back. Said I'll fight the Strybones and I'll be right back. Okay, we only got four star prints out of that. And I really don't want to fight that Goomba or Paragoomba, whatever. So I'm not going to get in the door. Well, that's all we need to do in here. And trust me, you want to go in there. And you'll save yourself a lot of backtracking. Yes, I'll do this first. Just in case, you know. I mean, I really don't want to go through that again. It was kind of monotonous. Well, you might be saying to yourself, how do we hit that if it's over here? But like I demonstrated in the last part, you can hit him with coops. That's exactly what you want to do. Sometimes coops will get like stuck at the bottom floor there and you won't be able to get him. It's kind of funny. Although not really, it's kind of tragic. Oh, and I totally forgot that we also had to do something else. You know that room where we fought red bones with the cage in the background with the key in it? Well, that's actually where we need to go. I'll meet you back there. Okay, back in this room over here. As you notice, most of the bars are like like that, but if they're like this, we can slip through them. Yeah, now you have to have double bars to protect me from getting out of anything or inside of anything. I'll meet you back up where that keyhole was, back in the stairs. Okay, as we're rising back up here, I guess I'll start commentating again. So we can use that key over here. Up here is just um, a badge that we can't even get right now because we need something else later in the castle that's there. Uh, key? Keyhole. Okay, there. Some people- I was actually kind of confused the first time I played this because I, d I wasn't really used to backtracking in games. And I guess I was this time too because I forgot. Anyways, there's a switch here. We can hit it. 
I don't really need that harp lock, or at least I don't think so. I'll check. I might need FP, but I only need one FP. It's not really that worth it. And then it gets a little harder here. We have to hit the switch with Coops. I said we have to hit the switch with Coops. And, hmm, that open window, it looks suspicious. Oh, well. And then in this one, there's not even a switch. So what do we do? We jump out the window and can't fall off no matter what we do. But if you go this way first, there's a star piece over here. And I don't think there's over anything. No, there's not anything over there. Yeah, we have to climb out on the balcony type thing. It's not even a balcony. It's more like, I don't know. What would you call that stuff that's just barely hanging outside of a window? Like, I don't know. Maybe it's still part of the wall. I'll, I'll fight you. Alright, with him out of the way, we can finally go up here. Well, finally. We haven't really done anything to lead up to this. Oh, I just want to hold Coops here and make sure that he doesn't hit the wall or else he'll come back and come back here. And yeah, that's not good. Because he won't be able to go against it. Um, this can be kind of annoying because he's going to come alive. But if you just sneak around him, you can... Get him? Okay. <laughs> sneak around him and I didn't, I didn't think I would be able to sneak around him there. What? What's this? Ooh, a mouse? A lady mouse. Mmm, with a heart tail. Handsome piece of cheese. I can't believe there are other thieves besides me. How very strange. Well, we're not really thieves. We're adventurers. Ooh, Miss Mouse. Yes, we'll be seeing her a lot throughout the game. Trust me. Oh, that's why you're here. I don't know, because we're searching for the crystal star. Oh, maybe, maybe we shouldn't have said that. Yeah, you're not going to get the crystal star no matter how cute you are. Yeah, that's what Coop says. There's a star. Mm, sounds intriguing. Oh shoot, why did- why- Coops, why'd you say that? Oh. Okay, yeah. Thank you. You're nice. I like you. Wait, what are you doing? What are you doing? Uh, yeah, what's that supposed to mean? Oh jeez, it kissed his overalls. Okay. Why not? I- it's not the silliest kiss in this game. That'll come next chapter, trust me. Yeah, it's more than silly, if I do say so. Yes, we already found the badge that will be a hooktail's weakness. It's the one that we already found. That one. It makes it sound like a cricket. Even though it's kind of bad sound effects, but you know. We've got a mushroom. And Miss Mouse already opened that chest. we got a castle key. We have a shine sprite. Our second one, by the way. And we also have a honey syrup. Yay. Well, actually, we need to come in here first because that key... The locked door across the hall is locked. Yeah, the locked door across the hall is locked, so we need to get the key first. And meet Miss Miles, because you'll be seeing her in almost every chapter. Well, almost every first type of chapter. Like, in the beginning chapters, you'll see her. I'm not- I can't really remember about the later chapters, but I think you will too. She's like- she's awesome. Oh, well, no, in the later chapters, there's something else that happens. Okay. After chapter 4 specifically, so... I'll, I'll talk about that when the time comes. So anyway, we have more roomy room stuff here. Get away from me. Get away from me. I don't want to fight you. Actually, I think there's one down here that we're sort of required to fight. Okay, I'll get a first strike. Said I'll get a first strike. Get away from me. Get away from me. Eh. Oh, that's not going to do anything. Yeah, I didn't mention it, but jumping on these things doesn't do jack squat. I'm just going to power shell. At least it'll take out them. Yeah, because when the Koopas are up like that, they have a lot of defense. Do I happen to have a... I don't have a pow block. Dang it. Well, I'll just use a fire flower. It's not like I'm going to use it on anything else, especially since we're done with the fuzzy section. And I really don't feel like dealing with those Koopa Troopers right now. They're so annoying. And yay, we're more than halfway through uh, to another level. Uh, oh, oh, speaking of levels, I remembered. I said that I was going to equip the power bounce. I... I I, I even went in the I even went in the badge section this 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 episode to switch on the attack effects badge. Why didn't I do that? I don't know. I'm forgetful. This is the day after I'm recording the, the last episode, so I guess yeah, I can be pretty forgetful. This as long as you hold the control stick pretty straight, it's not a problem to get past at all. Some people think it is, but it's really not. Although this part, if you go back here too much, you can fall down. But actually, there's a star piece over here. Yay, a star piece. What we're really interested in is that airplane panel. Because you saw the door was up on a ledge. I don't know why the designers of this castle made it like that. I guess they just wanted to make it hard to get through. But, you know, I guess that's Hooktail's preference, really. 
Oh, and this is how you get the badge down there. Oh, we also need to get the key right here with Koops. Um, I think there's a way that you can trick this out so you can g have Koops, like, stay on the thing. Um, I'm not positive. Here, I have an idea. I'll jump on that. Then I'll bring it back. And then I'll have Koops go to it. Oh, shoot. Well, you know what? I'll just cut back. I'm gonna go get that badge down here. And I'll be- I'll cut back to where I was before. Alright, back in this room here where this block was right here. I guess I'll reset it just for- So that they won't suspect anything. I didn't put that block down there. I didn't steal your badge. Mm, nothing. Mm -mm. So anyway, we're nearing the end of the castle actually. And there's another shine sprite there, a third one, so next time we go to Rogueport, we can power up a partner. Preferably Koops, because I like him better. Just saying. Better than Goombella, because he gets sort of a better attack. Plus his HP raises to 20, so that's good. I really don't want to fight any of these here. Actually, you know, I will, I guess. You know, usually I try to find shortcuts to get through a battle, but that one was just kind of tedious. I'll fight this one, too. I said I'll fight this one, too. Come here. Come here. There. Okay, I'm pretty confident when we face the boss that we'll probably get a level up because I have 73 star points. So, yeah. I'm almost confident we will because he gives a lot of star points. Spoilers, it's Hooktail. As if you didn't know. So, yeah, climbing this ominous tower. It just gives you a sense of how atmospheric this game can be sometimes. At the top, they put a dickish enemy move placement. Hopefully this won't have a lot of enemies. It does. I'm gonna use a honey syrup. Even though your FP is shared, I don't know why I picked Koops. Just so I can take out that Goomba. That spiky- those two spiky Goombas. Power shell. Cause I actually ran out of FP in like the last two or three battles. And used a courage shell. That boosts your defense. I didn't really show that item, but I guess now I don't really have to. <laughs> yeah, like I said, Koops has one defense and usually those pair paratroopas would do um they would usually do one hp or one hp of damage if you didn't if you did block even but since Koops has one one defense they don't do anything that's good especially if they actually do target Koops. because then they're saving it on mario oh what the heck how does that even work this stage is like not protected at all oh what Oh, yeah, yes, the courage shell on. Get that rid of. Get that rid of. Okay. Thank you. I'm just gonna use this because I know that there's a power- uh, there's a heart block up at the- Oh, I almost did it full. I was sort of concentrating there. There's a heart block up by the boss room. I- I got like three out of the four, or maybe it's four out of the five. I wasn't really counting stages of that stylus that you can only do when you have the power- the power smash. But here's the heart block I was talking about. And in the next part of Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door, we will be going through that door and seeing what lies ahead in there. Which is really nothing, but it is. Trust me, it just looks like nothing. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you then.